Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So um, in this video I decided to strip a uh, fibre strip my uh, Trachycarpus Fortunae palm and um, as you can see there I'm just starting off at the base so this is purely aesthetic um, it, it, it has no benefit to the plant you don't have to do it um, some people prefer the furry trunk some people prefer the strip trunk I like both so um, this one I thought I'd strip it so um, I actually read that this material this fibrous material has been stripped in um, in China the native country of this plant for a long time and it's been used for things like sacks and uh, clothing and it's actually waterproof so what I'm doing now is I'm starting off at the base so the base is the the sort of hardest part um, once you get started it, it goes much quicker but the bottom part is where it's most woody and um, it's, it's hardest so the main aim really is to get the woody bits off at the bottom and uh, what I'm then doing is I'm, I'm cutting the fibers away from the, the uh, leaf bases and I'm then cutting the bottom of the leaf base um, along and around the trunk to uh, remove that leaf base and uh, to do that I'm using a, a blade like a box cutter and uh, just to remove those fibers to get them out of the way um, as I'm doing the leaf bases, I've got some scissors. So if you're uh, thinking about doing this to your plant, um, make sure that it's mature enough. Um, so by that I mean make sure that the trunk has matured so that it's at the size where it's not going to get any bigger so um, I'd say between something like 8 to 12 inches um, you, you, you tend to find the trunks develop to a certain thickness, a certain diameter and then they don't get any thicker and they just grow straight up so um, I'd say give the plant probably from seed at least 8 years to develop so um, this is only for really mature palms and as you can see all those old leaf bases there this is quite an old one. I've had this one for about about eight or nine years. So I'm going around and I'm just repeating the procedure now, cutting away those fibers and um, cutting the bottom of those leaf bases. And then later on, I'll just neaten it all up. And as you can see, I'm still working on the base. I'm still just getting some of that soil out of the way so that I can access the bottom part. And as you start to remove these bases, you'll find uh, the next layer is underneath. So it's sort of built up in layers. And in terms of hardiness, I don't think it makes much difference here in the UK at least whether or not your uh, your palm tree has been stripped because this is just covering the trunk. The mature trunk is underneath and these are just old leaves that have um, since rotted away and then they've just formed like a hard woody material around the trunk. So now that I've, I've got just past the, the bottom of the tree, it's starting to go a bit smoother and a bit easier because this material is not so hard as the um, the stuff right at the bottom and if you're going to use um, a blade like this be very careful because um, I had to uh, put quite a bit of pressure on so yeah just be careful when you're working with the blade So as I say, at this stage you don't need to be too accurate because you can go back later on and tidy it all up and neaten it up. So you can see there I've started off and we're well on the way to stripping this one and this palm as I say is only about 8 or 9 years old so it doesn't have much length of trunk 
to strip. Um, you might have a palm that's sort of got like 10, 15 feet of trunk. This one's probably only got three or four feet. And uh, as you can see at the bottom there at the base, in time that will shrink down. All this exposed area now that is quite pale in colour, over time it will darken up and it will sort of shrink as it gets um, denser, the material and the moisture goes out of it. So it's not always going to look like that. I was thinking of something I could do with this fibre, um, but I couldn't think of anything. So if you can uh, think of anything or you've used this stuff, for something please let me know but apart from putting in like a compost pile I'm not really sure what you could do with it So we're getting there now, we're getting closer to the, the crown area and be careful that you don't go too close to the crown because you want to leave the top part alone to develop because it's not as developed as the bottom part and I would say leave about from from where the leaf um, the leaves come out of the, uh, the crown I'd leave about 40 centimeters to 60 centimeters just to be safe so now I've gone back to the bottom and I'm just neatening it up a bit. Now I'm just going to remove the, the final layers. And you can do this on other palms, other trachycarpus palms. Um, and you can do it on other palms that are not trachycarpus as well, but for the trachycarpus palms this is probably the best way to do it. So you can see all that leftover fibre that I've got there. As I say, don't have a use for it. Not sure what to do with that. So I'll just put that in the compost pile. And uh, that is it all finished. So it will darken up over time. If you've got any tips on how to do this as well, please let me know. Um, if you found this video useful, please leave a like and please also comment. And also consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.